rosé's already a hard canvas to work on, and Tina just managed to make it harder. <laughs> Welcome to Ms. Mojo Glow, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 RuPaul's Drag Race makeup fails. Number 10, Willem's Five O'Clock Shadow. This might be a relatively subtle faux pas, but it still caused a storm. This queen's visible stubble was much discussed on season four, most memorably during the reading mini challenge. Both Latrice Royale and Sharon Needles laid into Willem for her insufficiently covered beard and got serious laughs for it. But the issue truly came to a head when Michelle Visage pointed it out on the runway and in Untucked. Sharon clashed with Willem over the persisting problem, recommending that she use pancake makeup like her competitors. Granted, the advice was a bit harsh and not necessarily wanted, but the lack of coverage had practically been visible since day one. Number 9. Jasmine Masters Beard Covering up facial hair can be a struggle, but as it turns out, putting it on is no cakewalk either. For one runway in season seven, the contestants followed in Milk's footsteps and sported beards on the main stage. The judges loved Jasmine Master's gown, but took serious issue with her chin-strap-like five o'clock shadow. The queen said she couldn't glue anything to her face, but surely she could have produced a better-looking beard using cosmetics alone. For her part, Kennedy Davenport's poorly applied patches of hair were certainly an eyesore. It just looked like she had some old pubes laying around, and she glued them to her face, and that was it. Number 8. Jocelyn Fox's Makeover of Bradonna Fox Makeover challenges provide a unique opportunity for queens to demonstrate their makeup skills on another person's face. Unfortunately, Jocelyn Fox did not rise to the occasion in Season 6. Her partner Brandon wasn't exactly a happy camper, but that shouldn't have affected the queen's ability to properly apply highlight and contour. Michelle Visage aptly pointed out that Bradonna looked metallic, as incorrect makeup shades had clearly been used on the bride-to-be. The face is not her color. She looks metallic. Number 7. Jinx Monsoon's Favorite Body Part Look There were many things to love about this campy queen during her time on season 5, but her makeup wasn't always one of them. Early in her run, she often sported heavy-handed eyeshadow and a shaded nose that somehow looked off. In episode 6, the runway theme required the queens to highlight their best body part. Judging by her aggressive contouring, you'd think that Jinx's choice was her cheeks. The intense shadows affected her face shape and distracted from her outfit. Although this queen's skills with a brush were sometimes lacking, they were thankfully much improved by the time the finale rolled around. Number 6. Milan's Diana Ross Snatch Game The Snatch Game challenge requires the queens to embody a celebrity figure, and that means harnessing the transformative powers of cosmetics. Sadly, Milan's attempt to pay homage to Diana Ross fizzled in more ways than one. Her makeup was extremely messy with distractingly thin eyebrows and tragically wonky false eyelashes. Guest judge Loretta Devine took notice and later commented that Milan sometimes looked cross-eyed. But the biggest problem of all was that even with improvements to her lashes, it's unlikely that the queen would have been able to channel Ms. Ross. Number 5. Shangela's Season 2 Entrance Look A queen's drag race workroom entrance look is her opportunity to make a good first impression on fellow competitors and viewers alike. It makes sense, then, that these ensembles speak volumes about a contestant's fashion sense and taste level. Despite Shangela's current status as a performer, there is no question that her makeup in the season two premiere left something to be desired. She barely appeared to be wearing any paint, and what she did have on failed to highlight her features. We weren't exactly surprised when she revealed that she'd only been doing drag for five months. Although she was still experiencing cosmetic issues by the season three reunion, the glamorous queen we all know and love has since emerged. Hallelujah. Number 4. Aja's Princess Disaster Look Early in Season 9, this queen's manufactured social media image was a point of contention in the workroom. Are you afraid of what America is going to think of your makeup without Facetune? Shortly afterward, the contestants presented a fleshed out fairy tale character on the runway. I almost wore that same outfit today, so. Did you? Yep. And Aja unsurprisingly got called out for their sloppy makeup. Their aggressive liner and long lashes combined to completely overshadow their eyes. And the judges certainly didn't mince words on the topic, with Michelle Visage brutally commenting that the Princess Disaster moniker was highly appropriate. Aja definitely chose the right name, Princess Disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, Alexis Michelle's Roast of Michelle Visage look. Every Drag Race fan knows what Michelle Visage's least favorite color is. With that in mind, let's just say that Alexis sporting green body paint for the judges' comedy roast was… a choice. 
In honor of your big night, I wore your favorite color, girl. <laughs> of course, the theatrical queen intended to poke fun at Michelle's taste, but the gag felt forced and just didn't land. Unfortunately, the reference was also lost on guest judges Tamar Braxton and Fortune Feimster. To make matters worse, the makeup itself was patchy. In fact, there was none on her feet. Although Alexis Michelle had shown her skills in previous weeks, her poor decision-making in this instance understandably landed her in the bottom two. Number 2. Derek Barry's Eyebrows Unknown Britney Spears impersonator, Derek came onto the show sporting relatively minimal makeup compared to her competitors. I have seen what you've done with your eyebrows. I acknowledge that you're trying something different, but it's going to be a journey for you. Eventually, she was challenged to show off a face more typical of a drag queen, but it certainly proved to be a struggle. The book ball thrust her aesthetic and eyebrows into the spotlight, and Naomi Smalls gave her some harsh feedback and valuable advice. Unfortunately, the result was not not quite up to par. With thin and too high brows giving her a perpetually surprised expression, all three of Derek's bookball looks were brought down. When I was a little boy, I would pretend I was a little mermaid every time I took a bath. This is not the place to find out who you are. Number 1. Tina Burner's Makeover of Rosé Season 13 offered a spin on the perennial makeover challenge, as the queens paired up and transformed into each other. In a memorable workroom sequence, Rosé spun around and was clearly surprised by her new look. With her skin an orange hue and her eyes shrouded in an aggressively smoky shadow, she embodied the essence of Tina Burner, but she didn't exactly look great. The judges commended the accuracy of the makeup, while simultaneously questioning Tina's aesthetic. It's not elevated, but did she make her look like her? Yes. Did she make her look like her? Yes. Tina's aesthetic is questionable. 